My number one test preparation strategy for students involves uh, actually, first of all, they're recognizing what they're going to have to do in a test situation. And that is they're going to have to look at questions that they've never seen before and come up with answer to those answers to those questions. And so that really requires that they have a very, very thorough knowledge of the information. And in order to gain that very thorough knowledge of the information, they have to have a deep enough understanding so that they could really teach it to someone else or explain it to someone else in detail. And when I help students understand the power of this strategy, I might ask them to tell me if they would work harder if they had to make an A on a test or if they knew they had to teach the information to a class of students. And typically they say, oh, I'd work harder if I had to teach the information. And I'll ask, why would you work harder if you had to teach the information? And they say, oh, I got to really know it if I have to teach it. And so I help them understand that in order to be confident that you are really well-versed in everything that's going to be covered on the test, you've got to practice teaching the information. And I tell them the good news is you don't have to have your own class to be in that situation. If you have empty chairs in your room, if you have stuffed animals, if you have a mirror that you can stand in front of, anything that will give you the opportunity to practice teaching the information is very, very helpful. Because when you're doing that, if you get stuck someplace, then that's your key to go back and study it more until you have a very deep understanding of that. And so I always tell students to practice teaching the information and practice it enough so that you're fluent with it. With it. So when you get to the test or quiz, you are confident that you know and have mastered the content for the test.